Brisbane. Now let's go further up uh, from Brisbane and talk about Townsville, where the Townsville Bulletin has started to shine a light on a story that not a lot of people want to talk about, but strength to their arm for doing so, which is the number of people in this country who have served their nation but are effectively abandoned by the system and end up being homeless. This is the story from the Townsville Bulletin, where they can reveal a group of more than eight veterans has been sleeping on hard ground with no more than a sleeping bag and a tent. Colin, what does it tell you about our country that people who serve it end up slipping so far through the cracks that they end up huddling in groups in a place like Townsville where they sleep rough? Yeah, look, Paul, this is a real problem. Um, we've got a major society problem in Australia, right across Australia. Look, Paul, I've been looking into this. Um, this is something I'm pretty passionate about. And as a crossbencher, we get a chance to, you know, put up motions and some non-government business. And this will be one of the, uh, the subjects I go into next year. Um, I look at the other, other countries. Uh, Europe, we've got Finland. In America, we've got places like Utah and um, uh, Columbia, cities like Salt Lake City. They, they've got programs where it's... Um, yeah, they have homes for people uh, that are homeless and they just... They run a program called Homes First and it just means no matter what, every homeless person gets picked up and taken to a home and given a home for no cost at the start. They just uh, go and do that and then they start looking at their major problems from that point onwards, whether it be mental illness, whether it be, you know, uh, breakdown of family... There's a million reasons for homelessness and you've got to start somewhere. So uh, giving people a home first, uh, there's uh, thousands of homes in every state in Australia that aren't, that aren't uh, got people living in them. And the government's got the power to change these rules and to work a program. But it needs to be led by the federal government, supported by the state governments. Homelessness can be cured to a large degree. Not completely, but to a large degree but it takes a real uh, coordinated commitment from the governments. Now, Australia, we rate uh, number three in the world for, uh, you know, well-off and um, um, people that earn a good income, and uh, we're supposed to be third on the list. I think um, places like Germany and US just pip us. But other than that, we're supposed to be third. Now, we should be in a society that can do this and can change things for homeless people right around Australia. David, I don't know what the approach is of the current government or if there is a clear policy from, from your side of politics here, but it uh, is a specific example. In your state, in a garrison town like Townsville, what do you think of this? In a city I called home for many years, Paul, it's, it's soul-destroying, it's heartbreaking. Um, the issue is not just one of the homelessness, though. The issue is the one on the support services, and in many cases... These are proud men and they don't want to access those support services because they feel like they're putting a burden on society. How would you be? Guys who have fought for our freedom, worried about the burden they are putting on society so, so they live Crazy. away from the light. It, it's soul-destroying. And if there's a, a, a good thing that's come out of the federal election, it's been the election of a bloke by the name of Phil Thompson in Townsville, uh, a young man who's served his country, who knows all too well about what it's like to come home, be forgotten, have uh, serious issues battling the black dog, and, and maybe that election to, to a parliament um, might just help in the years to come. Good point. We're going to have a chat to him in the uh, next couple of days about this very thing. He's a passionate uh, Queenslander, Townsville representative and former veteran. He can pick the order in all of those things, but he's a good man. We'll reach out to him in the next little while.